This could get disgusting very soon if Joe can move in quickly. Mommy pushes in to take out everyone. That just happened. This is to tie the game. Welcome to another Zero Cup ELO match on Hotel Trouble. This time, we have two teams here, Team Bone Daddy and Team Weasel. Let's take a look at those leaderboards. Right now, you have Bone Daddy in fifth with 27 points, joined by Zcot in second with 38 points. And Grim in third with 31 points. For the other team, it's Weasel. He is your leader right now in the second season with 49 Glowing points. And Glowing in sixth with 22 points. This match is full of lobby or uh, leaderboard leaders on the leaderboard. For Team Bone Daddy, it's Bone Daddy, Grim, okay, Zcut, and ball. Big Body. For Team Weasel, it is Glummy, Ferb, Creedon, and Weeze. We starting with the AK and a sticky cam, which he has used. Glummy is watching that balcony approach, and he hears the repel waiting for another one to come up. He will get two, and they avoid his shot. Into the corner, gets taken out by Grim. Grim exchanging with Glummy. Creed on with armor. Ferb and Weeze both with the AK. Zcot is out on the third floor balcony. Big Body also on the third floor balcony with the M4 and the C2. Big Body gets taken up by Weez, who peeks out of that window looking over the balcony. And it's just going to be Bone Daddy down the long hall with the scar and Zcot in room 302. Peeking out to take out Farab. That was a quick snap there. Weez firing over the long hall where Big, Bo Big Daddy is at. And Zcot takes out Weez. Oh, Zcot's just picking everybody off here. Who wants to dare look down that long haul? Bone Daddy's the one on long haul duty. Creedon will peek. That might be a mistake. Except Brad is not going to touch anybody. Zcot has now repositioned himself on the third floor behind Creedon. Bone Daddy has Creedon locked in place. Creedon is at room 301. Will cross. Bone Daddy throws the frag way short. Zcot is now coming up the side entrance, which is going to be right behind where Creedon is. If Zcot takes it slowly, I'm not sure what Zcot's doing. He has now opened up the door. going to pop out there and get picked up by Creedon. That's going to leave Bone Daddy. Have to take on Creedon, and Bone Daddy has not moved yet. Creedon is going to see if he can get Bone Daddy's feet. That does a lot of damage to him. He only has 26 health left. And at the exchange, Creedon will finish the job on Bone Daddy. That's going to give Team Weasel the first round. After... One round. You have Zcot with two kills. Grim with one. For Team Weasel. Glummy, Weez, Creedon all getting kills. Creedon a little greedier getting two. Zcot doing the majority of the damage in that round. For the defenders, they're going to choose to do the second floor conference room. You have... Creedon with the AK and armor. Is Glummy with a frag. Weez with the seconds. sticky cam and Farb with the MP7 and a frag. Locate and defuse the bomb. 
Z-Cot will come in through the front door, not climbing right up. We'll take out that camera. MP7 in hand. Sorry, the oppressor in hand. Big body. PSC2. Bone Daddy. He's got the scar and a frag. Grim is already on the stairs. That is the rear stairs. He's, uh, sorry, side stairs. He's got the scar and the frag. Does anyone hear him? I don't think so. No one is really paying attention. The Grim is right behind them. Does anyone know he's he's there? I think Farab is closest. Credon's right next to Farab, and Wheeze takes out Zcot in the front. Grim now peeking out to the right. Glummy ready for anyone on that balcony. Farab still doesn't know that someone is out there. Oh, maybe he does now because he has relocated to the bathroom. No, he doesn't see that area yet. Grim is in such a good position here. And Glummy's in a good position if uh, Bone Daddy comes out a little bit. Grim. Farab. So close to being in sights with each other. Glummy getting fragged by Big Body, and Glummy will avoid it. Big Body is ready and waiting. Farab is on Grim's right. Grim checking behind the door. Gonna look down that hall. Does not see Glummy at the end of it. Farab still looking down towards the balcony, and Grim peeks out. Doesn't see. Oh, Farab, Farab just caught sight of Grim and gets fragged by Grim. Nice frag there. That is gonna be Creed on now. Who is going to see Big Body pushing in? Glummy is still out there on the balcony. Will push out too hard to get taken out by Bone Daddy. Wheeze is all that's left. Can see Grim down across the cafeteria there. It's going to be Grim and sorry, uh, Wheeze and Bone Daddy. The last ones left. One v one. Bone Daddy's closest to the objective. Wee's really should be defending, and Bone Daddy not making the best choice going to the rear stairs, running away from the objective. Not sure why he was running towards the rear stairs, but that was right in Wee's line of sight, who will finish the job to lock in round number two for Team Weasel. For the attackers, it is Grim, Zcot, and Bone Daddy with three, two, and one kill. For the defenders, Wheeze will have four, Creed will have three, Glummy will have one. Farab and Big Body will be joining the match soon. Creed on with the AK and armor. Wheeze also has the AK, he will have a sticky. Glum, AK, and a frag. Fair the only one going with the MP7. Locate and defuse the bomb. And I think Weez has placed the camera at the end of the third floor uh, long haul room. I don't think that was the actual hall he put it in. I think he put it in the actual room. So Team Bone Daddy will be coming in through emergency entrance, except for Grim. He's going to climb up and take those side stairs. Same stairs that he came in nearby Farabon in the last round, and Farab also in the same position, but Glummy will take out Grim. Big body has entered the building on the first floor. Zcot is up on the fourth floor, room 304. Bone Daddy, he is watching the room where I think the camera is in. That Wheeze has placed earlier. Wheeze seems like he is waiting right outside that room. Ready to frag if someone opens it. Big body coming up the stairs. Zcot is the one repelling, making all that noise. Zcot takes out Farab in the closet. Big body will peek out. And Creedon does not quite have the sights. 
But now he does. Big body is shooting across the way like Lummy. And Z Cop will push in and then pull back. Looks like that's going to be Weeze taking the risk of exposing himself to come outside to take out anyone in the balcony. No one is there. Glummy takes out Big Body in the stairs. It's Creedon peeking out on Zcot. Zcot will win that. Glummy will be on his own. Or rather, Glummy and Weeze will be the two left. It's 2v2. Weeze is just on the end of that long haul, but Glummy will be by the objective on his own. Zcot and Bone Daddy stacked up on each other. Glummy throwing the frag in there. Or the flash, rather. They both might be hit. Sees one, misses the other. Bone Daddy went into the bathroom. Glummy was not expecting it, and Bone Daddy's gonna come out of the bathroom and take out Glummy. Not expecting that one at all was Wheeze. Sorry, uh. Glummy. Wheeze has not moved. From the end there, he does have sight on the objective. We'll peek out of the balcony again, leaving the objective unattended. Bone Daddy playing carefully, not knowing this. You would expect the defender to be on the objective. Fragging the objective. Weez now sees the frag and is going to take a look at the balcony still. Bone Daddy is going to run out into the open. Weez can take him out. Not sure if there's a camera. No, he's still checking the balcony. Bone Daddy's out in the open. Why Weeze is looking at the balcony, I am not sure. We've already seen the flash out there, or the, the frag out there. Weeze continues to look in that balcony. I mean, he's only looking at the objective for a second. And finally spots Bone Daddy and picks him off. That's Bone Daddy getting more comfortable to look at the objective. That was very risky. It turned out in Weez's favor in the end there, but very risky to play that long haul. Also, it looked like it was uh, about three to one distribution there, looking at the balcony and then peeking out to the hall quickly to go back to the balcony again. And protect against the flank. More than the objective. The Worked out in the end. Weeze will get five kills in this match. Clubbing with four. Creedon with three. And taking all three defense rounds. Now on the attacking Deploying side. In ten seconds. For the defenders, you're going to have Big Body with a sticky cam. Bone Daddy with the AK and armor. Zcot, he's got the MAC-10 and a frag. Grim, he's got an MP7 and frag. Locate and defuse the bomb. For the attackers, you're going to have Creedon with the Oppressor. Wheeze, he's got the tactical shotgun. Lemmy, MP7 and Farab will be coming up to the second... F uh, sorry, he already did the second floor. He's coming up to the fourth floor, long haul side, with the Scar. Creed is shooting up to the top, and Zcot takes Farab out, who is dangling there, coming back down. Big Body was the one that I think was in the window that Creed was shooting up to. Zcot takes out Weez. And Big Body takes out Glummy. Big Body fixed on that door. Was able to get the shot off. And Grim decided to exit the balcony, risk it out. Got enough. To feel confident, enough information to get the last one out. Attackers will have to figure out what it'll take to win an attack. Team Bo da Bone Daddy couldn't do it. And Team Weasel so far can't figure it out on the first round. Use the planning table to find the bomb. For the defense, you're going to have Big Body. He's going to be on the sticky cam there. Bone Daddy's got the AK and armor. Zcot, he's got a frag. Grim with the MP7 and frag. Big Body has not found a place yet for that sticky cam. Gets a uh, door shut on him by a teammate. Rude. 
Locate and defuse the bomb. On the third floor for Team Bone Daddy, and that's a nice place for that camera on the furniture. Creedon will take the M4 on the emergency entrance. Glummy up front with the oppressor. Wheeze also up front with the scar, and Farab taking emergency with the M4. We have Big Body waiting on the end of the balcony where Glummy just entered into. Big Body picked up his camera again. Glummy will open that door. Big Body has the information. We'll frag in there. Zekot took out Creedon. That frag not going to hit Wheeze or Glummy. Wheeze has joined Glummy on that door. And Farab is, I think, second floor. He is second floor. Yeah. Big Body going across to the other room. Glummy's going to frag out there. Big Body is getting stuck in there with a the frag. And he leaves the room to avoid getting fragged. Glummy waiting. Wee's going to move somewhere else. Another frag coming out. Glummy's going to shoot Big Body instead. That was a flash. And that did flash Glummy. He flashed himself, but got the kill off in the first place. Farab's still down on the second floor. Wee's upstairs on the fourth floor. Now being watched by Zekot. Zekot. Zekot did see that, right? There we go. Zekot is looking. Well, Zekot might have actually been on a camera at the time that Weez was coming out of there, almost missing Weez. Now that they have. Now that they're seeing each other, Zekot's gonna peek out there and take out Weez. Glummy's still at the end of the hall, and Grim taking out Farab. I've been peeking up out of the stairs. Glummy's going to have to take out three with full health, and he's only got half health himself. He will have to do six times the damage of his own. And getting Pete. No, not getting Pete exactly. Glummy's going to shoot down the hall. Enemies coming out to the balcony. That's going to be Zekot. Zekot's going to be identified. And Glummy's going to know and try to get that... Get the enemy he knows. Is he got trying to shoot through that? It'll not get a hit. Bone Daddy's gonna keep his eye on the hall. Grim will also expose himself. He got still exposed. Lummy getting peeked out of there by Bone Daddy. And the defense keeps on winning. Five rounds in, and Team Weasel only in the lead because they could defend. Team Bone Daddy proving they can defend as well, and they will have a third time to show for to show that they can. Hey, Zero Cup fans! You can catch the Zero Cup tournament starting April second at seven p.m. Eastern time. Visit the Discord link in the description below for details, where to watch, and to register. So you do have to be in it to win it. Big Body will have the oppressor with a sticky cam. Zekot has the frag. Bone Daddy, he's got armor. He's also got the AK. Located Grim the will have the M4. Compliments of the attacking team. And a frag. Looks like that was Big Body putting a camera on the furniture there. Creedon will be coming in with a frag from the side stairs. Wheezed using the emergency entrance with the frag. Glummy with a frag as well on the emergency entrance. And Farab is already set up. On the long haul, fourth floor. He's got the scar. He's also got a frag. Looks like every attacker choosing the frag this time. Glummy's going to come up the balcony. Repel. Creedon has on that side repel. Ferb taking out the fourth floor camera. Is now going to have the whole fourth floor to himself. Glummy set up on the balcony entrance where Big Body is. He's going to clear the bathroom first. And Big Body's right there going to... Cancel the nade, throw the nade out there, and he could get out Glummy. No, it does not get out Glummy. Oh, not sure how that nade missed Glummy, but Glummy's going to win the gunfight against Big Body. Is he caught looking out on the balcony? And that is Weez who will throw the frag in there. That does not hit z They're going to keep dancing in the window. 
Bummy now has the long haul. Creedon. Off to the side, Grim. And Bone Daddy also inside. Looks like they are focused on the, the window. Ooh, Z Cat throws that frag right there on Weez. Doesn't get Weez, but we'll uh, we'll get him with the gun. Creedon gets Grim. Creedon also needs ammo. Someone needs ammo. This might have been Farab actually reloading. Farab coming in down from the downstairs, from the upstairs, downstairs. Seacott peeked out a little bit. Woogie coming back in to look at that side entrance where he picks off Farab. He's got another one. Oh, looks out too soon where he doesn't realize that Creedon's still in there. And Creedon gets a good shot on Zcott. Zcott will go down. Let me still at the long haul. Somehow stood up on furniture. Frag coming out. Creedon running away from that. Glummy gets taken out by Bone Daddy, who's the last defender left. Creedon's the last attacker left with only 70 health. Bone Daddy's in perfect position. And Creedon, not giving up on that door, takes out Bone Daddy. Team Weasel with the first attack win in this match. And Zcott. Carrying his team, but uh, does have a maximum weight limit for his abilities. As uh, collectively as a team, I mean, they will outgun Team Weasel with 20 kills. 20. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Team Weasel with 17, but still winning their matches. Team Weasel will be back on the defense where they have not lost yet Deploying as a defender. Creedon starts with the MP7 and armor. Weez, he's got sticky cam where he has already stuck at the end of that hall where Glummy is. Uh, Glummy says, uh, that Located sticky cam is so obvious, dude. What are you going to do about it? Um, apparently nothing because it's too high to reach and take out, take back down. Farab has the MP7. So does Glummy. Weez has the AK. Creedon with the MP7 as well. Big bodies coming up on the side entrance uh, stairs with the Opressa and a frag. Zcat. Emergency entrance with Bone Daddy. And Grim is going to go around the side entrance, around the side stairs to the back entrance. That might be to support Big Body. Weez peeking the side entrance. Glummy is. I see everyone seems to be taking a room. Zcott hanging off of the 304 balcony. Bone Daddy is on the third floor. End room. That's room 207, I believe. Grim opening up his door, takes out Farrah with the frag, and will retreat with 25 health just to avoid an explosion, really. Wee's getting a nice pop on Big Daddy. Sorry, Bone Big Body. <laughs> Lots of Ds. Are they close to each other? Yes, Bone Daddy and Zcott are in 304 and 302. Grim on the other end. 3v3 here. I mean, I think is in 303, right across the hall from Bone Daddy and Zcott. I mean, Glummy doesn't hear anything, but he could peek out. He's right in the middle. Bone Daddy comes out to take out Glum Glummy. And Zcott getting a kill there as well. Creedon taking out Grim. It's just going to be Zcott and Bone Daddy against Creedon. Creedon the odd man out. Frag into the corner. And this is Zcott, Mrs. Bone Daddy. Moving together. Zcott will peek first. Creedon, a little late on that, is going to. Get hurt, but not by much. Avoiding the frag, Zcott's gonna go to the objective. Bone Daddy, he's gonna watch in case Creedon pushes. He's not gonna push. Okay, now he's hearing the tap, and Bone Daddy gets the kill with the shotgun. Zcott distracts with the diffuse sound. So, that will be the first defense loss for Team Weasel. Team Bone Daddy figuring out, hey, we can win on attack too. Zcott with 11 kills, Bone Daddy and Grim with 6 each. And 
for the defenders, Cree down with seven, Weez and Glummy with six each. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Looks like this objective is going to be upstairs. That is going to be room two, sorry, three, oh two. Deploying in ten seconds. This is going to be for the win for Team Weasel. Locate and defuse the bomb. Big body on Team Bone Daddy looking to stop it. It's coming out with the frag on the emergency entrance. Seacott coming in with the frag as well. So is Bone Daddy. And Grim will be the long haul man this time. Buddy and Zcot and Bone Daddy as well are on the third floor balcony. Zcot hanging off the 304 balcony now. And I don't know who that is in the bathroom. I think that's fair. And Weeze is taking shots from 303 across to the balcony. Zcot tries to get a better angle, sees Farab's arm, and takes Farab out. He's still firing towards the balcony. Zekot realizing that it's blind fire, will go ahead and move in. Will he start working the objective? And Grim gets taken out in the hall. Wee's taking out Zekot! Whoa, big body! Getting a kill and getting killed. Bone Daddy is in the room now. Creedon still, or we still firing. Not sure if he thinks anyone's in there. Creedon is also on the door. Bone Daddy is going to try to run in position. Now he's going to get spotted by Creedon. Maybe not the best position to run in there now. They know exactly where you are. Gets a shot on Weez with half health left now. Creedon with full health will be fragged at and can't outrun the grenade from Bone Daddy. Bone Daddy says, here, hold this for me to tie it up. The final round. The winner of this match, or this round, will be the winner of the match, too. With Zekot having 12 kills, Bone Daddy with 8, Grim with 6, Big Body getting a kill with 2 total. For Team Weasel. Creedon and Wheeze with eight, Glummy with six, and Farab. Well, um, being Farab. Creedon with the wedge, Wheeze with the armor. I think that was AK. Glummy with the armor as well. Farab with the wedge and MP7. Big body's coming in the emergency entrance with the MP7 and frag. Bone Daddy has a frag. Zcot has the oppressor. He's got a frag too. Grim, he's going to be the first one to start climbing. He's going to be in the side entrance. Coming into that second floor conference hall with a scar and a frag. Glummy is watching the balcony. He wants to know, to see the, 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 the grapple hooks. He wants to know when they're coming up. Farab off to the same side where Grim was there on the first set of attacks. Farab watching from the restroom. Kind of peeking that way now a little bit more often. Remembering from last time, Big Body will run down into the basement to cut the power and take care of the camera. Zcot out in the front entrance. Don't see the light. Glummy and Grim exchange each other from the side stairs. Farab seeing that also now seeing the door open by Big Body. Big Body is going to back up after opening up that door. And when Daddy's still there on the balcony. 
Looking at the objective, he wants to see who's going in there. First, Zika takes out Wheeze. That was the cross. Farab. Oh, he gets taken down by a big body. That leaves Creedon on the objective on his own. Everybody moves in now. And Creedon's going to get the business from everywhere. Big body's on the wedge door. Can't get it open. Creedon will now turn the other way to see who's going to come in from behind him. Well, Bone Daddy stays on that wedge door. Zcot's going to keep an eye on the double. Big body's now positioned in front of Zcot. Zcot will keep watching the flanks as Big Body gets taken out by Creedon. Creedon firing, realizes the double is there, but Bone Daddy has found his way in and he's going to take out Creedon. That is going to be the match. You're going to see Team Bone Daddy just get the win there with an effective attack. This is probably the attack that they should have had in the first place. And final score will be Team Bone Daddy 5, Team Weasel 4. And after that match... You're going to see Weasel fall back a little bit. Zcot coming up a little bit. They are only three ELO points away from each other. Graham right behind as well with 36 and third. Own Daddy getting the win. Moves him up to 32. And fourth. Remember, we have the Zero Cup tournament coming up. Visit the Discord link in the description below if you want to join and participate in these ELO matches. You can also find out all the details you want about the tournament, for where to watch, how to register, if you want to keep up to date on the ELO matches that are being cast and see what's going on, you want to subscribe to this channel. You're also going to want to hit that notification bell to know that those matches have been published. We will catch you in the next match.